Hello everybody and welcome back to Faria. You might know if you watched some of my earlier videos that a while back I tried to make a deck centered around flying creatures. Now this deck was perhaps so-so, it wasn't a very great deck, but still I, I liked the idea. And uh, then I saw this uh, very nice uh, meta overview video that uh, playfaria.com posted and I'll be sure to post uh, a link to that video in the description of this video below. Uh, and uh, there a uh, deck centered around flying creatures was presented and at that it was a very successful deck centered around flying creatures. So I just blatantly stole most of it and made just uh, minor uh, tweaks and adjustments according to my own taste. Because well I, I thought to myself that if you need uh, mainly two things to be successful in Faria, uh, that is skill and a well put together deck, then I can at least give myself the advantage of having one of those two things, right? So I just shamelessly took it. Or, well, not uh, entirely shamelessly. I felt a little bit of shame, not much, just uh, a tiny bit. You know, I could uh, tell you that uh, the guilt will haunt me for the rest of my days, but that would just uh, be a lie. It, uh, it will haunt me for maybe one day, uh, one and a half at the most. I think that's... Uh, an appropriate amount of uh, haunting uh, for uh, this particular crime. But well, anyway, so I took uh, almost the entire deck list. I just uh, added Iona because I think that's it, it's a neat card. I added uh, two Sons of Fairies because I also think that they are uh, suitable. I think that they fit the deck very well. And I added uh, two Air Elementals too speed up the process of building desert tiles. Otherwise it's uh, very very similar. So uh, I haven't uh, tried this deck out yet so we'll just have to adopt the philosophy of learning by doing I think. But uh, with that said let's get to it. And here we go. So let's see what we get. Get a Dune Drake, Drakkar Sky Captain, Soul Drain, and we get to go second. So that's actually perfect. That means Drakkar Sky Captain on turn one. I think that's fine. Let's see what happens here. Always interesting to see what the opponent's first uh, choice of land is. And in this particular case, it is and it's a mountain, so that's fine. This is uh, an aggressive position for the mountain, could come out a fire elemental there, is popular I think. We'll place a desert here of course, and a Drakkar Sky Captain, and end turn. So let's see if a fire elemental gets played here, that's fine, I think. That means I can play for Dune Drake here next turn, which can attack this position. Air elemental, that's uh, excellent. And we'll get some Faria. We'll begin building towards uh, this side here. Just to sort of be in the way. We'll build up towards the middle and end turn. We can build towards the middle because we have all all flying creatures. We don't have to care about uh, placing lands next to the fairy wells here. The only reason for that is, of course, to block the opponent from placing lands. So that's um, well, that's something I guess. But um, this is fine. I could actually, when the opponent is going this way, I could have played went this way with the Drakkar Sky Captain actually. I think I'll go up here, try to get in into this uh, Faria gathering. Here I'll obviously gather some Faria and I can in fact place another Sunsilk Fairy, or I can place on my first Sunsilk Fairy or the Dune Drake. It's nice to 
get the sun silk fairy down I think because it will allow me to have a good chance of buffing it there's a better chance of actually drawing into something good there or drawing to, into an event which can make the sun silk fairy a bit more powerful so I'll place a desert here I think that's uh, quite nice that brings me up to um, four deserts so um, if I draw into uh, a five uh, desert card I can play it um, so do I play both the Sunset Fairy and the Dune Drake playing too much in one turn is dangerous as the opponent could uh, very well have some sort of control yeah, I think I'll place down a Sunsilk Fairy here. And end turn. I mean, could come out um, uh, Firestorm, for example, which deals 3 damage to all creatures. I don't want to have everything I have out on the board. If I place my creature here, could it come a Salamander here to deal 3? Firebomb, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Cypher's Rat, okay. Well, that is fine, I guess. Now, I do have uh, the potential of playing a Windborn Champion here. So I think that's actually fine. That's, that's perfectly decent. I will go up here to prepare for Fairy Gathering. I will. Uh, well, where should I place the Windborn Champion? That is the question, isn't it? Yeah, I think placing it uh, down here is fine, actually. That gives me access to a lot of space here. Can attack this. I can attack the opponent's orb. So I think that uh, this would be fine for a strategic, strategic choice. This would potentially be fine as well, but this means that the opponent has to place down a land here in order to block the orb, so I think that's fine. Yeah, Windborn Champion it is. And I can move this here to gather some fairy. And uh, then I can actually place this down here. And uh, end turn. So this is uh, a dangerous spot for a salamander. But I, I still think that it's fine. I'm putting a lot of pressure on the opponent's orb, both with the Dune Drake and the Windborn Champion. So, so it should be decent. The opponent has to play defensively. A Firebomb, okay. Ogre Dance, okay. And the bold bomb generic. Okay. Drakkar Sky Captain. That is nice, of course. That is, of course, nice. Yeah, I'll... Yeah, I think I'll play the Drakkar Sky Captain to be able to gather some, some fairy potentially here. I'll obviously attack with the Windborn Champion and with the Dune Drake. And I'll grab a fairy there, and where do I play it? Do I play it here or here? I think I'm actually quite happy with uh, having the Drakkar Sky Captain close to my base here, close to my orb. So I'll just end turn there. Let's see what the opponent does. We'll potentially gather one more fairy here, so can have seven, or can have six fairy this turn. Obviously can't have seven if a land is placed here. But, uh, but can have uh, six Faria. And one card in the opponent's deck is now, or hand, is now really cheap. And one more is really cheap. So this is a Bold Bargainer and Ogre Dance deck. Interesting. Nice combination. What will come out? Okay, so nothing this turn. Uh, that is that is excellent. This means that this is in fact uh, a win. I can 
Yeah, that's that's a win. Very nice. I can place a desert there. I can use the desert twister to get the Drakkar Sky Captain there. I can attack with that and finish off with a Windborn Champion. So this was a um, successful test flight for, uh, for the flight deck. Obviously big thank you to my opponent and uh, of course thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Bye!